The easiest way to create a high quality version of your film that's easily uploaded to the web and still in HD is to export using the compressor. So to do this we need to go to the file menu, send to and we choose compressor. Compressor is of course part of the Final Cut Studio bundle and you can compress in all sorts of formats here but um, it's really great if you want a quick web version. So you can see here under my settings under Apple devices I have H.264 for Apple TV. Of course we can see that it's 1280 by 720 which is 720p full HD perfect for YouTube so all we need to do is drag the preset onto this little panel here. Next thing we need to do is choose the destination that it's exported to so by default source is selected. If we right click on this we can choose destination we might like to export it to our desktop. Now if you want to rename the file you need to highlight this section here make sure you leave .m4v at the end and I'll call this final movie. Now here you have access to all the information about your video so you can see that using this format the estimated size is going to be about 50 megabytes tells us the height and width that it will export at, the frame rate, etc. If we click on the next tab along, which is the encoder settings, we can actually change these. So if I click on this cog, I'm going to export this as 1960 by 720, which was the default. You can also change things like the frame rate, of course 25 is correct, and 5000 kilobits a second is the highest bit rate available in this format but what I will do is change the audio to 256 kilobytes so it's higher in quality again we'll go back and we'll see that it hasn't really affected the final size but it will so now that I'm ready to export I can click submit and that will begin to export to our desktop